Warriors. It's your girl, Corinne Graham, also known as a Purpose Warrior. Glory be to God. I have a quick word of encouragement. As I was sitting with the Father on my lunch today, just meditating on His Word, He dropped this Word again so heavy in my spirit that I just have to get it out into the atmosphere in Jesus' name. This Word began this morning on my drive into work. And what the Father was showing me is you are beautiful and your crown is just for you. There is a warrior today outside of just myself that needs to know that they are beautiful and their crown has been made just for them. And so as I was driving to work, and this morning I drove. Normally my husband drops me off, but this morning there was a shift in positions, glory be to God. And so I drove and on my way in, I was just doing my personal recording, spending time with the Father, listening to my meditation music. And as I was driving on the way in, the inside of our window was so, it wasn't clean. I have been complaining about it to my husband, but I never... I said, well, you're driving and I'm in the passenger seat. So if you can see out of it, that's fine. But this morning when I sh I shifted positions and I was in the driver's seat, I'm driving down the road and I'm like, I can't see. I, now that I'm in the driver's seat, I cannot see. And so I had to quickly pull over to the gas station and clean the inside of the window. Stay with me, Warriors, I'm going somewhere. And so I get back in the car, it was a quick fix. It was so easy. I get back in the car, the window is perfectly clean. Husband cleaned the car on the outside yesterday, but the inside window was all smeared and it just wasn't clear. So I cleaned up the window, I get back in the car and I'm like, now it looks like I'm a little behind but I'm not worried about it because I got to be able to see. This is a safe safety thing, right? So I get back on the road, I'm driving to work and I get to this light. And when I get to the light, there's a truck that comes across the light. And on the truck, it was a business truck and it said, Royal Crown Battery. Royal Crown Battery, glory be to God. And at that instant, at that moment, it just fell in my spirit on your race. And the Father reminded me of a page from my devotional, a scripture from my devotional, Acts chapter 20, verse 24. And I'm going to read the word and then I have three key points and I'm going to flow and I'm going to get on back in this office. But Acts 20, 24, but none of these things move me nor do I count my life dear to myself so that I may finish my race with joy in the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. And what the Father was showing me is you, one, you have to be willing to shift positions. Some of us have gotten so comfortable being in the passenger seat and the Father is saying, it's your time to drive. It's your time to take ownership of your own race. And as you shift positions, you have to be willing to sometimes pull over to the side, sometimes take a pause because what others could have seen through, if it's blurry and it's not clear to you, then you need to make sure you pause until it is because the Father is clarity all in himself and when we don't have the clarity he is a good God that we can go to and seek wisdom from and he will give it to us but we have to know it's not one size fits all so what may have been able to work for my husband he may have been able to see out of that foggy window but I couldn't so when I changed positions I had to be willing to pull over to not look at the clock 
to not think about, oh, I'm gonna be late getting to the next place. I have to say, no, I have to be able to see because this is a safety risk, not just for me, but for the others on the road if I can't see clearly. And so when you switch positions and you get into that driver's seat, warrior, if you need to pull over, if you need to make a quick stop until you can see clearly what is going on ahead of you, then do so in this season. Because I thank the Father in Jesus' name, because had I not stopped and cleaned off this window, this mirror, mirror, window, y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm fired at had I not stopped, I would not have made it to the light at the exact time that I did. I would not have seen that truck go across. I would not have seen Royal Crown Battery. And I said, thank you, Father, for my crown. Thank you, Father, that I own my race. Thank you, Father, that my battery is not drained. See, we have a choice to make. When our battery is getting low, we get to plug into the Most High God and He will fill us up and make sure that we are fully charged and in optimal condition. My cell phone rarely goes dead. I can't even remember the last time it did, but my spirit man does not go dead either. And He's saying, as long as you stay charged up, you're gonna get your royal crown. You're gonna be able to take ownership of your race. And so I'm driving in and the first thing that I'm seeing in Acts 20, 24 is lay down your thoughts and pick up the father's thoughts for you. When you pick up the father's thoughts for you, he directs all of your paths. I'm talking about from start to finish. When the word says, commit your ways to him and he will direct your paths. It means it, warrior. And so even today, the Father was directing my path. He was getting me not to lean to my own understanding, even with what I put on today. He's been so intentional, even about dressing me in Jesus' name. And he's been doing that because he opened it up to me in May of 2024. He said, you've done what I've asked you to do. But one thing, you haven't loved on you the way I require you to. And so this week and last week, he's had me with no makeup, no mascara, no nothing, just in my comfort. Well, what would have normally before been a discomfort to me is now comfortable for me because I feel the beauty of my own skin. And that's what he wants you to get to. He wants you to lay down your idea of what you think is beautiful and pick up his because he's called you beautiful. He's made you beautiful. Everything about you was strategically aligned in Jesus name. Even if it may not fit into the status quo, he wants us to lay down our own imaginations, our own ideas, our own perceptions, our own thoughts about how we see ourselves. He wants us to really walk in a bold truth that my father has made me beautiful. My father has prepared a royal crown for me. My father has laid out my race specifically for me. I'm on track, I'm on time. I'm not behind in Jesus name. And what he was also saying is get to the end of you. Your crown is waiting on you until you fully love yourself. How can you fully love others? He wants to teach you that. He wants you to love on yourself from the inside out because then you can show someone else how to do the same thing. Then you can encourage them. There was a time when I didn't love myself from the inside out. But along this journey, he has made me beautiful. And even I can see it. I could see it on the inside, but I can also see it on the outside. And that's a part of our race. 
And then that's the joy. I gotta hurry up and get back. That's the joy of it all, warriors. When you can see your beauty in totality and know that God has made you beautiful in Jesus' name. You are whole, complete, lacking nothing in Jesus' name. You see how I started rushing and then I realized, girl, sit back. You already have a timer set. <laughs> you have time. See, the world will make you feel like you got to rush. But the kingdom says flow as you go. So I don't know who needs to hear this. I know it's going to make sense to the warrior it was supposed to. But when you get to the end of yourself, you can receive your ministry with joy. And the father showed me this week, my ministry is a mothering ministry. It's a gift to be able to nurture, to teach, to comfort. It's a ministry. And I've seen the fruits of it in my house. And it all came from taking the, the making the choice to change positions and still trust God. Because I'm telling you, before I could see the fullness of it, I had to go through the storm and still speak to what the Father showed me. Your vision is nothing to play with. Your vision the Father has given you, it will encapsulate you. It will protect you. It will lead you. It will guide you. It will feed you. It will promote you. I'm telling you, warriors, what I know. But we have to own our race. There's a royal crown waiting for us. And as long as we remember who our power source is, as long as we stay willing and obedient to switch positions when that when it allows us to, when he's requesting us to, when our course is requiring us to, when our path is requiring us to, when we change positions, it allows us to get to the exact place at the exact time in Jesus name. So I just pray this word encourages somebody like it encouraged me. I just want someone to know you are so beautiful. You are handmade by God himself. He made no mistakes when he was perfecting you in your mother's womb. Just like he kept you then. Just like he kept you when you were a newborn baby and you couldn't hold up your head. Just like he kept you when you couldn't walk. He is going to keep you until your last day. <laughs>